years of dressing up the inside of Haslam. Went a little bit, he did, I tell you what, he didn't go that wide, he didn't leave a lot of room, didn't Christian Eden for, for uh, Ryan Vickers. Luckily, he saw him, he saw the front wheel and, and managed to sit up and avoid a contact. Now, Lee Jackson's gone through on Leon Haslam as well. So it's Vickers fourth, Eden fifth, now and then O'Halloran and Jackson. Towards McLean's. This battle for fourth place, this is the leading group going through and still. Tommy Bridewell content to sit in second place. There's Danny Buckin, number 83. And Charlie Nesbitt closing in on him. Another top 10 on the way for Nesbitt. Yeah, tandem dropped a little bit now. Uh, most of, I don't think anybody's in, yeah, actually it's about 28-3, 28-4, so they're about half a second slower uh, than the fastest half of the race. So I think that's to tire degradation that's on that. Battle for fourth rages on. There's Christian Iden just behind Brian Vickers. Those guys in turn are about 1.2 down on Glenn Irwin. We're about to start lap 18 of 23 laps left here at Donington Park. And Kyle Ride has led this one since the lights went out into turn one. And in second place, Tommy Bridewell has just been comfortably yeah, I mean, sat there waiting to make his move. Three tenths is the lead but it's just not enough to relax that half a second maybe you can you can sort of uh, think about your lines a little bit and not have to worry about something coming to the inside but not the 310 Cheshire Moldings Kawasaki of Lee Jackson there not been a bad weekend for Lee job there Lee Jackson it's fourth and a fifth earlier in the weekend. It's not been bad compared to what we've seen in this year. There's a steady start to the season, trying to get his head around them and the team are of a new uh, swing arm, a factory swing arm. It should be better on paper, it should be better, but you've got to set your bike up to that. And they've struggled with it a little bit, especially on the British circuit. It's uh, a swing arm that's been designed for World Championship circuit. Peter Hickman and Jack Kennedy enjoying the battle here. And look at Josh Brooks in the background. So Kennedy's made his way past his teammate Brooks. Brooks is on for 13th place here. Hickman's just about to try and make a move on Jack Kennedy. This is the battle for 11th place. But shortly we'll be starting the penultimate lap of the third and final race at Donington Park. I tell you what, Vickers is uh, considerably faster than anybody else that last lap and put his fastest lap of the race in. Oh, Jack Kennedy really wide at Melbourne Lou. Not going to get away with that. Here's Lee Jackson, number 14, making a move now on O'Halloran on the approach to Redgate Corner. And O'Halloran will go back through as Jackson's slightly wide on exit. Right, seven tenths a gap. Yeah, this is it at the front. Yep. 77, Kyle Ride and Tommy Bridewell. They're two seconds up on Glenn Irwin. So... You have to think, James, that seven tenths the gap now, maybe just... Yeah. Is it slipping that, away? That is a gap. Yeah, that's, that's getting there. So on lap 19 of 20, there is Ride, there is Bridewell and Irwin. Vickers is catching Glenn Irwin. He's going to fight for the final podium place. Then Christian Iden. This will be his best race result of the season so far. Number 22 on the McCam Yamaha is O'Halloran in sixth and Jackson seventh. Tabs on that gap out front doesn't look like in fact i think the gap's going to extend as we're about to start the final lap O'Halloran here fancying a move up the inside of Eden, but he's going to have to back out of that one yeah he just about got out of that one without the wheels overlapping through goddard's for the penultimate time for this group battling away yeah, in look, fifth place goddard's has lost better now he's just been really bumpy it's where the, the different layouts of the track meet just been horrendously bumpy and patchy Silky smooth now. Jackson again up the inside of O'Halloran down into Redgate Corner. That's for sixth place. Kyle Ride started the final lap 1.2 up, and I think that Bridewell has waved the white flag there. Yeah, I think he's just decided that a second place is uh, kind of good enough. Uh, thinking about the long game championship, and um, yes, yeah, he's, he's a safe ride. He's, he's dominant. The, the battle that there could be in the closing stages is Vickers versus Irwin for the last podium place. Yep. Vickers is all over the rear ends of Glen Irwin. And going half a second quicker, lap on lap. There he is, the yep. number seven now. Vickers smells another podium 
It took him 102 races to get his first, and they might come like buses. Yeah, we, need, we need to watch that. Here we go. Just setting something up. I think that Glenn's struggling for a bit of rear grip. Vickers, is he going to make his move down here? the top of the S's? No. He's going to have to try and get the drive now out of the S's. And then make a move down into Melbourne. And he's close enough. He's definitely going to have a lunch here is Ryan think, Vickers. Yeah. Up the inside. No, he can't get close enough. He cannot outbreak Glenn Irwin. And that now means he's got one more chance. But Irwin's wide there. They're both side by side on the exit. Trying to find it out for the last podium spot. Glenn Irwin's got the better line. He's got the inside line. Ryan Vickers will not give this one up, though. The chequered flag is out, though. An absolutely brilliant ride from Kyle Ride. He does a double win here this weekend at Donington. Ahead of Bridewell and Glenn Irwin sure. just... Yeah, manages to hold on to third place ahead of Ryan Vickers, who's had his best weekend of his career I'll so far. I tell you what, far. nice move that from Vickers. He had a go, but he left Glenn enough room on the outside coming out of Melbourne. Very courteous, that. The rest of the riders coming across the line. It was Jackson behind Eden in fifth and sixth. O'Halloran was seventh, and then Haslam, Nesbitt, Buchan, Hickman, and... Uh, then Jack Kennedy, but another win then for Kyle Ride. That's win number three of 2023 for the Lamy OMG Racing Yamaha ride. Yeah, and made amends for uh, his mistake in the last race. Yeah, and that just, uh, he was 20 points down in the championship coming into this one. I mean, it's, it was tight anyway, it always is going to be, but that just gives him a bit of an extra boost heading into Knock Hill in a few weeks' time. Yeah, I think this year he's started to believe in himself a little bit. As Kyle, he's definitely got the talent, got the pace he always has had. Um, he hasn't always worked, but he's got, we've talked about it quite a lot. He's got Tommy in his corner, and Tommy's been working on his sort of psyche and, and his training, and uh, he does look a different person. Lots of talent, as Kyle Ride. We've always known that. And normal services have been resumed for the Beer Monster Ducati boys as well. Second and third for Bridewell and Glenn Irwin. Yep, it'd be a better trip from uh, up the. Uh, M6 for Paul Bird, smiling at least. We're calling it Westmoreland Services for a pie, no doubt. Uh, Ryan Vickers then, as well, with a fourth place finish. He can go home content. He's got his first ever trophy at BSB, but it's his teammate Kyle Ride who takes the headlines. This is. Kyle Ride upping his game in 2023. Here are the results and standings then from Donington Park here, round three of 2023. Ride it is that takes his second win of the weekend ahead of the two beer monster Ducatis, Tommy Bridewell and Glenn Irwin. Ryan Vickers gave it his all, but he just couldn't quite get there in the end. He was fourth ahead of Iden. Jackson was sixth, the Halloran seventh, Haslam in eighth. Charlie Nesbitt did get through on Danny Buchan to take ninth. Uh, Peter Hickman was 11th and Jack Kennedy in 12th.